Hey, Mario. Come on, wake up, man. Mario! Whoa! Oh, okay, uh, uh, welcome back. This is my Let's Play on Super Mario Galaxy. This is episode 46 of my walkthrough on Super Mario Galaxy. In this episode, we aren't going to, uh, be doing the regular thing that we were doing before. Instead, we are going to be doing a race. The Cosmic Comet is in orbit of Freeze Frame, or Freeze Flame. So, we're going to begin the Frosty Cosmic Mario race. Now, if you remember, the, uh, co Cosmic, or, yeah, I think that was it. Cosmic Comet is when, uh, you race a mirror version of yourself. So, yeah. We gotta get to the end, which is way over there. And there's Shadow Mario again. It's kind of cool, because he looks almost transparent because you can see stars fr through them. Now there are eight... Whoa! There are a ton... or a ton of uh, shortcuts you can take like that one I just did. Also, it's a very good idea to uh, be skating through here. Ah, see how I did that? With one fell swoop, I jumped way ahead of Shadow Mario, but uh, he also jumped way ahead of me, but I got the lead back. So, what we're going to want to do is do one final jump right over here, and we got the star before he did. Ha, ha we rule. Shadow Mario sucks. Whoever he is. It, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably mini, or er, Either Mini Bowser, Bowser Jr., or Koopa Kid, or whatever the hell his name is in this game. Oh, I keep forgetting. But we're only two minutes in, so we're gonna go ahead and get another star out of the way from the freeze for or freeze flame. I keep wanting to say freeze frame. I don't know why. It's probably where that name came from, but oh, I keep I keep wanting to say that. But anyway, now that we've taken out the comet, let's go to another one. Excuse me. We're heading into. Excuse me. Freeze Flames Blistering Core. So now this time we're gonna have something to do with fire in this one, as we can kind of tell right there. So the first level had to do with ice, the second level had to do with fire. Maybe the third will have to do with both or something. But, uh. Yeah, so I've been planning what I'm gonna be doing for my 50th video in this Let's Play. I know that I didn't really do anything special except just announce it in uh, my Sonic LP, but oh well. I'm, I'm thinking about doing some karaoke. Now, just to tell you, I have a pretty good singing voice. So, don't worry too much about it. Um, all you gotta do is pick up the uh, star bits over here. But uh, yeah, if I do do karaoke, I'm not gonna reveal what Song I'm gonna be karaokeing, karaokeing. It's a word, damn it. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, it'll be it'll be a pretty popular song. So we uh, hit the blue stars and we head over to this really molteny planet that seems to have kind of split in half. And seriously, it's got to be boiling hot in there. Like, you know how when you're driving down a hot road and it seems to kind of fizzle or something like that? That's how the screen kind of looks right now. That, that is not good. Anyway, watch out for these things. They'll kind of spike out and get you. Uh, there's no real way to get them. But uh, anyway, here's a life shroom right here. So, Alright, now we jump up here. And... Jump! Yay! Now this thing right here, this will sink. So you might want to start running as soon as you land on the thing. Now I know that there's something around here that will help us. There it is! There's a fire flower right there. Now watch out for those. They'll like, whenever you get right near them, they'll kind of spike out and get you. And the only way to beat them is with a good uh, fireball. 
And wow, I hit that all the way from over there? I'm good. Let's go ahead and kill these two things. Die, monsters! You don't belong in this world! And alright, I lit them both in time. For a second there, it was getting close. But let's, let me just take a quick look around to see if there's anything else I need to light up. And if I do, where I can get a mushroom from. Hmm, what's over here? I don't see anything over there, so. And since this game is pretty good at, like, not hiding things until you get really close to them, I can only assume that there's nothing in there. Whoa, and I nearly fell in the lava and died. Ooh. I wouldn't have died, but yeah, I would have fallen into lava, which I think everybody is pretty unanimous, or can be pretty unanimous in saying that that hurts. But anyway, there's the uh, flower up there if you need it. Yeah, if you have to get it, you have to go all the way back up there. And I, I know I keep going around in a big circle, but hey, that's what we're supposed. That's just. I don't know why I'm going around in a circle. Anyway, you jump up, flip around to the other side of the gravity field, and we pick up all of this. Now, I'm guessing that this is the core of a planet, but, um, yeah. I watched the core. It doesn't look anything like this. There are not these weird things hanging around all over the place. No, there, there's diamonds and stuff. Yeah. I believe whatever Hillary Swank tells me. Alright, so all we gotta do is hit these two um, torches that are unlit, and this will pop up. And all we have to do is wall jump our way up here. Gravity will once again flip around, and we'll be on the other side of the, on the other side of the core thingy. So all we have to do is stand on this part and it'll start turning this way. Whoa! Damn. Let's get it to start going back around this way. And... Oh! No! No! Ah! This is a little bit tricky because you kind of have to get it going one way. But if you go too far with it one way, it'll be in the lava before you get off of it. But anyway, there's the star over there. Way over there in the distance, if you can see it. And I fell in the lava. But luckily I didn't hit the lava again kind of bad because whenever you uh, fall into the lava or whenever you touch the lava you run around in a circle a lot and whenever you do that you have a tendency to hit the lava again which just causes a vicious circle and you end up falling to your death which is never good so let's we have to go around this way jump on one of these blocks and we have to Aw, oh, damn, I missed them both. Alright, let's 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 try it again. Uh, what you gotta do is, you gotta hit both of those um, torches up there. Which is a touch difficult. See, I didn't do either one of them that time. And since I know I don't have enough time to go back around and do it again. You know what? We're gonna kick this thing and watch it die. Oh, wait, what? What? Aw, oh, man, I thought that killed it. Damn. <laughs> and what are we at time? Nine minutes? Oh, damn. Oh, man. Oh, we lost the live stream. Damn. You know what? You die now. You were part of the reason I lost all that. Alright, well, we really don't have a lot of time anymore. But all we have to do is get on here, and it, it's it's a bit of a tough thing to do, but uh, you basically just have to keep hitting those, and oh, that came at just the right time. But if uh, I don't get this in this video, uh, I'm not going to show the end of it in the next video, because this is going to be the last video I upload tonight, because my throat is hurting and I'm running out of things to say, but um, yeah, up. Oh, damn, I'm not going to get it. Ah, oh, snap. But uh, anyway, I showed you how to do it. So, time's running out. I'll see you later. Bye.